hello people of god i hope all is well um i for the record i'm going to do a better job of coming on here looking like something but a lot of times when god is speaking to me i'm just like chilling and because i work from home i'm in like my comfortable um comfortable setting so i don't have makeup on and all this kind of stuff so i just want to apologize if my attire is not um um isn't always the best um but god is really placing this on my heart right now as we continue to go through um this process of being chosen um we have to learn to accept when that this position of being chosen puts us in a place of being misunderstood we have to accept being misunderstood and that's not the easiest for for us who have been chosen not just because the 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 process of it all is is painful at times but because when you have struggled with validation like i have and you want the validation from those closest to you and you don't receive it it could almost be a slap in the face it could almost um make you question yourself it can make you question um should you be in this position it will make you question if you are handling this position correctly it will make you question yourself but do not and i'm saying this to myself question yourself because god has positioned you for such a time as this it reminds me of noah that no one understood noah no one understood the mission that noah was on when god commanded him to build an ark no one understood noah and noah had to accept being misunderstood at that moment he had to accept that maybe nobody will ever understand um, why I'm doing what I'm doing or why I'm saying what I'm saying or why I am choosing um, these particular decisions or why I am being as bold and speaking out as I am. I have to accept that people will never understand that maybe they will never understand, but maybe they will one day and it may not be today. And it's a hard lesson for a lot of us who are chosen by God. I believe it is. Because being chosen is, is a great um, responsibility, is a, is a great privilege to be chosen by God. But to be chosen by God, it is hard. It is not all this glitz and glamour as maybe we thought it would be. It comes with a price. It comes with um sacrifice it comes with being misunderstood and we have to get into a place where and i'm saying this to myself like i said and maybe this applies to you we have to get into a place where we can surrender all to god be obedient to god by all by all means means be by all means necessary okay i'm sorry and allow god to be god and to take care of take care of those who are around us who look at us and who judge us or who look at us and say that maybe we are judgmental or who look at us and, and, and don't understand right but we should pray for their understanding we should continue to be patient with them and continue to remain focused on who God has called us to be I pray that this blessed you and if you're not in this space right now but you believe that god has chosen you this is just um something to look out for that in the beginning of being chosen it's 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 a little scary but it's a little it's exciting but as you go through this process and as you continue to walk with god you see how difficult this journey can be so it's not to scare any of us. It is to just be aware. To, to truly be aware of the price and the sacrifice that comes with being a chosen vessel of God. And like I said, it is a privilege. It is a opportunity like no other. But there is a price. 
So I pray that this blessed you and I pray that you enjoy your week.